Martin and MacArthur is well known for their high quality Koa furniture. But don't be afraid to stop in though if you're on a budget because they also have unusual gifts such as sunglasses, iPhone cases, and even watches, all made out of Koa wood. It's all part of their strategy to diversify, as you'll hear in this next segment. Martin MacArthur started back in 1961 when John Martin was just a woodcrafter and he decided to make the uh, most beautiful rocking chair he could possibly find. And so he looked at all the different rocking chairs that were in Hawaii at that time and he made one out of koa wood because it was a plentiful wood and it was relatively inexpensive. And so he created the rocking chair that we currently are still selling in our stores and that's how we started 51 years ago. My name is Michael Tam, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer and President of Martin & MacArthur. I'm a Kama Aina. My family's from Maui, and I grew up on Oahu in Aina Haina. And after I graduated from high school, I went away to college to Chicago and ended up working for large national retailers like uh, Starbucks and Nordstrom and American Eagle before um, finally coming back to Hawaii. I always wanted to come back to Hawaii because Hawaii is always home. It was a tough time four years ago when I first took over the business uh, because Martin MacArthur only had two stores at that time and, and uh, the business was really, really tough. Little did we know that taking over the business at that time was at the height of what would soon be a major recession all over the world and particularly in Hawaii. And so what we had to do is regroup and focus on the opportunities, which meant that because there was going to be cutbacks from other retailers and space and the malls and the resorts were going to open up, that was our opportunity um, to get prime space in those retail malls and in those uh, resorts so that we'd be able to flourish once the economy came back. And so that meant that we really had to plan four or five years in advance and see where we wanted to be. That was the critical part of how we changed the company because we want Koa to be something of a fashion accessory as opposed to simply furniture. That was the biggest challenge because at that point, there was nothing in the world, nothing in the world that was made out of Koa that was a fashion accessory. We currently have 10 stores. We're gonna be opening our 11th store in December and that's going to be at the Moana Surfrider. We're proud to be partnering with the Moana Surfrider because it is the grand dam of all uh, hotels in Hawaii. Um, it is the oldest hotel on, in Waikiki. And so the whole idea is to um, create more of a gracious attitude in the Moana Surfrider uh, with real koa furniture uh, made right here in Hawaii. Martin MacArthur has actually 30 furniture craftsmen uh, in our workshop in Kalihi now. And that's up from 12 craftsmen four years ago. So during the height of the depression, we actually were hiring more apprentice craftsmen uh, to work with us and get trained. The good news is, is that um, at uh, a time when a lot of other companies in Hawaii had to cut back because of the, of the recession, we were looking at how to diversify our product lines so that beyond making furniture, making Koa furniture, which we still make lots of, we're making home furnishings and home accessories as well. And that kept a lot of these craftsmen busy when people were buying things other than rocking chairs and sofas and dining tables. Today, our 30 craftsmen are making everything from the Koa furniture to Koa jewelry boxes, like this one that's um, um, created based on the, uh, the Tansu dresser that John Martin initially created, and now it's a jewelry box. Koa photo albums and picture frames, wine stands, anything that you would need for living graciously and living elegantly in Hawaii, we're creating that. So it's not just a matter of having the right furniture, it's all the appointments in your home that are much more affordable and easier to take along as gifts. Becoming a craftsman at Martin & MacArthur is not a fast process. As a matter of fact, we hire people who have a passion for wood and they're apprentices. And believe it or not, an apprentice at Martin & MacArthur is an apprentice for about eight to 12 years. That means they have to stay in our workshop tagging and um, following after a craftsman, doing the sanding and doing the joinery work, learning how to do it for 12 years. Then they become a journeyman, still within our shop, which means they, they can create furniture pieces on their own, but they still need to be supervised. And finally, after about 18 years, then they become master craftsmen. Each craftsman makes a piece of furniture from start to finish. There are no assembly lines, one person chooses the wood from our own private stock, cuts it, and then crafts that rocking chair or that table all together, one at a time, by himself. We're proud to say that Martin MacArthur only uses koa from dead and previously fallen trees. 
That means in our 51-year history, we have never cut down a single koa tree. As a matter of fact, every single time a piece of furniture is purchased, a new koa tree is planted. Over the past few years, we've been partnering with Hawaii Legacy Hardwoods to plant thousands of koa trees on the Hamakua district of the Big Island. It is our legacy and our responsibility to be sure that koa is here for future generations. We currently have 80 sales associates working for us now, and we're always looking for new people. We're looking for people who are communicators, people who are not bashful, uh, people who are outgoing and willing to talk to customers. We're looking for people who have a knowledge of, about uh, um, Hawaii, or people who are uh, very much learners, very much interested in learning about it, because we'll do a lot of the training. We're also looking for people um, who have a sense of understanding what it takes to serve a customer, to make them feel good, make them feel rewarded. You don't have to have a special degree, a college degree, you just have to have that passion and that willingness to learn. It does help if you could speak another language because Hawaii is such a melting pot from different cultures. If you can speak Japanese, Chinese, Korean, it would help a lot. We're looking for them right now and by opening our 11th store, we're still looking for them. And frankly, we have plans to open more stores in the coming years, so we'll be looking for more people who are going to be um, able to talk about the beauty of Hawaii and the beautiful things crafted in Hawaii. The man of the hour is here, Santa, but he's very busy, but he's going to take a quick break to tell us about what the job of being Santa is like. I'm Santa, and this is Mrs. Claus. Christmas is a challenge. It's only five weeks long or so. We have the Aloha spirit. Okay. and lots of great places to go shopping. There are plenty of things to do when it comes to Christmas around Santa. Of course, my job's already taken. Mrs. Claus is taken, but we always have elves and people putting toys together or purchasing toys. Or cooking, baking cookies. Cookies, yeah. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, and have a great time in Hawaii.